Hi, I'm Allie. Join me in creating this Genevieve bracelet featuring Iris Duos and the Eva Beads. Remember, if you need any materials, go ahead and look below the video in the description. We'll put links there to our website. That way you can get a list of everything that you need to create this awesome design. Gather up your materials and let's get started. So to get started on this design, we're going to keep it really, really simple. I've gone in and I've played around with kind of complicating it more and played around with additional designs, which I'll show on future recordings, but I'm keeping this one really, really simple. This is going to be a multi-hold bracelet based on right angle weave, and I have a stop bead on about five feet of white size six dragon thread along with a size 10 needle. I have Eva beads here, Iris Duos, four millimeter bicones, 15s, 8s, and 11s, all Mayuki brand. If you need the specifics, again, look below the video in the description. So we're going to get started. It's going to be very, very simple. I'm going to add an 11 0 along with an Iris Duo. And when I add the Iris Duos, they have a flat side and a rounded side. I'm going to put it flat side down and I'm going to sew through the right side or the first side through the bottom towards the top and add an 11 an 0 C bead. Let that go ahead and fall down next to your stop bead. We'll come back and add the clasp after. So I wanted to put about 10 inches or so. Grab your first Eva bead. You're always gonna sew through the Evas from the point towards the opening. Once you get to that opening, grab a 15, four millimeter, 15, and sew back down the other side of that same Eva bead. When you sew down through the side, if you have a little bit of an opening, issue, go ahead and just poke that out. It's usually just a little bit of the coating. Push that down towards that stop bead, pulling on the thread, and we're going to repeat the iris duo. So we're doing 11-0, iris duo, again, flat side down, sewing through the left, add an 11-0, and then we're going to repeat through our Eva bead. Grab your Eva, sew from the V towards the opening. Once you have that opening, go ahead and add a 15-4-15. If you don't have the 15s on hand, you can certainly skip them. I'm using them just to add a pop of that silver color. Sew down through the Eva bead as well. And if anybody changes this up, make sure to comment in the comments below as well, because there's a lot of variations that can go. So we have this grouping now on, and we're gonna create what is actually our first right angle unit. We're gonna take our needle and thread right next to the stop bead and sew back through the 11-0 and the iris duo. That's gonna round out the design and you can see that nice, simple setting. From here, we wanna to get to our second iris duo. So we're gonna sew through our Eva bead, sewing through all the little seed beads along the way. I'm gonna push that tail out of the way. Go ahead here and sew through your 15, 4, 15. Usually you can get through the crystal and then you need to pop one out and do it again. So I'm coming out now through my iris duo. So I've gone through the 15, the Eva bead, the 11 0, and my iris duo. On the sides now of the iris duo, we're going to add an 8 0 C bead. Grab your 8 0, sew down through your iris duo. Grab another 8 0, sew up through the iris duo. So we're just circling around through those two holes. We're going to then sew through that 8 0 seed bead, through the iris duo, and you should be exiting at the bottom of the second hole of the iris duo. We're now on repeat. Add an 11 0, pick up your next Eva bead, add your 15 4 15, fill that opening of the Eva by sewing toward the point. Once you're at the point, you're going to add your next Eva bead. Remember, we want to make sure we're all facing the same direction with that rounded towards the top. So just kind of pick it up, make sure you're still there, that you're doing the first hole on the left, add an 11 after it, pick up your next Eva, kind of like building blocks and Legos, adding those 15s with the four in the middle, letting that all drop down next to my project, going back through that Eva bead, to fill that Eva bead hole. And then once again, to round it out, add one more of your 11 and sew through the iris duo. And that creates our next little right angle unit. So simple, so easy, such a cute design. We're gonna keep going. So once again, we need to go through the 11, 
up through the iris duo right there it caught through the 15 perfect through the four and the 15 through the eva bead oh i have two 11s on there i'll get one of those off of there through the iris duo you should just have one there and out once you're out the iris duo go ahead and add your eight by circling around the holes and then continue on with the design if you want to get fancy, you can also add a little right angle weave with your eight O's on the side here. Coming out the eight O a second time, spin around at three beads back through the eight O. I started doing that, but honestly, I was changing up trying to figure out if I liked it better and I liked the simple design. So you can mix around and mix and match, but we're just going to be on repeat making our Genevieve bracelet longer. Once you're done adding all of your units, it's time to put on your clasp. Now I'm using the infinite clasp and the infinite clasp has a soldered ring. If you don't have a soldered ring, I would suggest a wire guard or a wire protector, or you could use a pretty little button. And then I'm going to glue that cabochon in to match with my check glass. I like the infinite clasps because you can use these check cabs to match whatever design you're doing. And it works really, really well with the Miyuki uh, transparent Picasso aqua that I'm using. So coming out the end here, I am going to grab a couple of my 11 OC beads, just like if I would be normally getting ready to add my next Eva bead. But instead of having, adding an Eva, I'm adding three 11 O's, making sure I'm putting on my Potomac's clasp in the correct way because you want that to face up as well, just like your Iris duos. Add three more 11 OC beads on the other side and then sew back through that iris duo. Now it's important anytime you have a clasp or a closure that you are reinforcing by taking more than one piece of thread through that area. So I'm going right back through that same area here, threading through once, twice, and then I'll do it a third time. After our third time around, and if you want to, you can glue your cabochon in there first, just in case you have a little glue accident, you don't need a lot of glue. So just put some of that Loctite glue right in the middle and glue down. You can certainly do that before doing this. And then after you get your third time down, it's time to get rid of your thread. To get rid of my thread, I'm going to sew into my project, continuing to go along the same thread line, sewing back a couple stitches, maybe about 10 stitches or so. And what I wanna do then is bring the thread out towards the middle of the project in an area where I will not see it. So I don't like to tie off thread next to a crystal because generally speaking, you can see through them. Also crystals sometimes will have a little bit of a sharp edge. So I'm gonna to go towards the interior here. I'm right here coming out of this iris duo between the iris duo and the seed beads. I'm gonna sew underneath the bridge thread, the thread that connects one to the other and sew through the loop that that creates once and twice. Sewing through that loop then creates that little knot here and I pull that nice and tight. Again, always pulling the thread, never the needle, down next to the project, tightening that up, then taking my thread and needle away from that knot, so that way it gets hidden even more, in towards the project, couple more stitches, grab my thread burner or my thread zap and burn that off. On the other side, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, taking my stop bead off and going back in here and attaching my clasp after putting some eight O's on the side just to make the pattern match. Once you get your clasp on the other side and glue that cabin, you can see how pretty it looks on the wrist, but I also wanted to show how it has that nice turn. This is great for a collared necklace as well too, if you wanna keep it going or even attach chain along the back. It just has that nice pop. Remember too, if you make any changes to the design, if you add in some of that right angle weave, if you change up from 11s to eights, or even if you start to do some funky things like adding some seed bead bridges along the side, make sure to comment to help out other beaders that may be watching these videos. As always, thank you so much for joining me in the creation of this Genevieve bracelet. Remember, if you need any materials, look below me in the description for the video. We'll put links there with the exact products that were used to design. Remember also, if you haven't yet, to subscribe so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beads. Thanks so much for watching Potomac Beaters and stay tuned for our next inspirational design.